There are predators, there are preys, and the former dominates the latter. That's just the way of nature. But some prey won't go down without a fight. There are even some preys who know how to stand up for themselves and can even come out on top in a tussle with their enemies. These are preys who can defend themselves from predators. Number 15. Zebra narrowly escapes a hungry lion. Now we're going to change the ending to a much more happier one, and this is one that is a favorite meal for the lion, the noble zebra. In this video, we see the zebra defending itself with all of its might, and this proves to be just enough for it to get away with its life intact. This is not luck, people. This is a testament to the survival skills and the will of the zebra. As we see, that lion is doing everything it can to chase down the zebra, but look how fast this stripy horsey can run. They're capable of running anywhere between 40 and 50 miles per hour, especially when trying to outrun a predator. And this is their greatest defense against an attack as vicious as this, their immense speed. When another zebra is trying to take over as a head of the herd, the zebra has been known to attack the male by stomping, but they sense that this isn't going to work with a lion. If only the giraffe had such speed, maybe they would have survived much more like the zebra. Alas, not all animals are created equal, and once the zebra widens the gap between himself and the lion, it becomes much more clear that lunch will not be had in this moment. So good for you, Mr. Stripey Horse. You've run away to live another day. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Electric Eel When I hear anything about eels, my mind immediately jumps to sushi. I don't know why, but when we take a closer look at them, we see that eels actually have a pretty terrifying and powerful defense mechanism, electricity. It sounds like something out of an alien science fiction movie or something, but this has actually been scientifically researched and measured as being very real and has proven itself to be useful for the electric eel. Residing in remote and murky waters of the Amazon River, the electric eel is notoriously difficult to research because of its habitat, and also because of how aggressive they can be in defending themselves. For centuries, scientists have been chasing after them, trying to unlock the secrets of the electric eel. Capable of growing up to eight feet long, this eel carries an electric charge of about 600 volts. That's enough charge to kill a large horse. Although it's classified as an eel, it closely resembles a knife fish, which is not a coincidence at all. Electric eels are nocturnal animals and have been known to use their electricity to also spot any prey that may be lurking in nearby waters. In my opinion, it would be really awesome to see this eel produce some electricity, like Thor from the Avengers. Number 13. A brave giraffe kicks five lions to save her baby. Now who can blame this giraffe for trying to get a few good kicks in before these lions take her down to devour her? And as we can see, she definitely put up a valiant effort. Giraffes are usually known to be fairly easy prey for a pack of lions, but as we see here, this couldn't be further from the truth. Because of their immense size, giraffes are actually quite capable of protecting themselves in the wild. They can trample and stomp any oncoming predators and are also pretty high off the ground. So attacking any sort of vital organ or anything of that sort means that lions have to be very tactical and patient with their attacks. For obvious reason, the baby giraffe makes a much easier prey and lunch for these predatory kings and queens. They're lower to the ground and that equals being easier to kill. Their height also gives them an immense stomping power, but their long legs also mean that they're not really a mobile species. In the end, the giraffe was taken down and fed upon by the pack of lions, but good for you, Mr. or Mrs. Giraffe. You didn't go down without a pretty hefty fight, so you've been honored with being placed on our list. Rest in peace, gentle giant. Number 12, Praying Mantis. 
The praying mantis always had a curious name. Why is it called a praying mantis? Well, I always thought it was because of its predatory nature, but that's not it at all. It's literally because of the way that its front legs fold into a prayer-like position. You learn something new every day, especially watching Fancy Banana. Another thing the mantises are known for is their lightning fast speed when attacking their prey. And for this, they've landed a spot on our list. Using their green color as a tool, their camouflaging color allows them to sneak attack their preys like a ninja with speed and accuracy, preying on mice, small turtles, and sometimes even snakes. The praying mantis will slowly devour their unfortunate prey. Capable of killing a prey up to three times its size, the praying mantis may be small, but it's proven itself as a formidable prey for other animals who see fit to try and eat the mantis. They sure can put up a fight when the situation calls for it. At first look, they seem like a wholly defenseless bug, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Number 11. Warthog makes a daring escape from the jaws of seven hungry lions. Warthogs, well, <laughs> we'll just say they're pretty chunky, but they're actually pretty threatening looking as well, though in reality they can be tame and docile. They spend their days using their snouts to burrow for bulbs of plants and roots to eat. But while they're grazing, this also leaves them wide open to be encircled by a pack of lions like this one, which can lead to a sort of Mexican standoff as we see. This pack of lions spotted the hogs burrowing and closed in on them, waiting for the perfect time to strike. That's when the hogs saw that they were about to be eaten alive, so they just waited and observed the big old cats right back. After a four hour period of waiting between the two, the warthogs spotted an opportunity to make a break for it. One of the lions would turn its head for just a moment, allowing the warthogs to make their escape. With a top speed of 30 miles per hour, the warthogs got right away from this attack. It seems pretty fast for such a little chunker like the warthog, but don't worry lions, I'm sure you'll find lunch elsewhere. Number 10. Gentoo Penguin Protecting His Baby From a Giant Petrol So flurfy, so derpy, and oh so cute! This penguin is definitely a surprising addition to our list, though they definitely earned it as well. Not necessarily through their fighting spirit, but through sheer numbers. And this is why penguins are always seen in those huge clumps. They use their large numbers to protect one another from predators. And you know what they say, their strength in numbers. In this particular situation, however, we get to see a single penguin on the attack when the giant petrel tries to fly away with its baby. The poor little baby is struggling against the huge bird as another petrel flies in to try and separate it from its herd of penguins. Hearing the cries of the child, Big Papa then comes over to save his baby. At first, he tries to pull him away, but that doesn't seem to work. So then Dad begins biting the predator, and yes, actually ends up winning and saving the baby. Look at how much they love each other. So good work on you, Dad. You've proven yourself worthy of a place in this fancy banana list. That was very brave, and also very indicative of the bond between a baby penguin and their parents. Number 9. An Unusual Octopus and Pufferfish Interaction Hiding in the dark, the way an octopus strikes is like something from a horror movie. Large tentacles appearing out of the darkness to drag you into its lair and devour you. But not this time. This time the octopus chose a very strange prey, the pufferfish. The reason that it's such a weird choice is because the pufferfish has a very bad taste for predators due to the toxins in its body. In this instance, we see the tentacles come out to drag this puffer fish in to be eaten, but the fish definitely isn't having any of it. To try and take it to the next step, the octopus actually comes out of its shelter to use more force, and it almost completely encloses it with its tentacles. However, the strong puffer fish wins out in the end. The toxins of the puffer fish are an extremely effective deterrent and defense mechanism for this strange animal. It's called tetrodotoxin, and it's found in their organs, and it's a neurotoxin that makes the fish taste bad. 
The toxin itself is at least 1,200 times more potent than cyanide, and one puffer fish actually contains enough of the poison to kill 30 human beings. Without a known cure, I would stay very far away from this fish if I were you. Number 8. Epic Seal vs. Shark Battle Normally, a seal is just going to run away at the first sighting of a shark, but this seal was alone and going head to head with one of nature's greatest predators, if not the greatest, what do you think the seal chose? Well, it seems that he said to himself, I ain't going down without a fight, and by God he did his best to survive. Alas, he became shark food in the end. This makes the seal very far from defenseless in most cases. <laughs> They're actually preying on 67 different species of fish and 70 different invertebrates. Though here we do see that the seal was pretty helpless, they actually have quite sharp teeth and a very good sense for hunting. They consume a whole 3.5 million tons of food per year. No wonder they're so flubbery and blubbery and derpy. Though they are a land and sea animal, and they're known for being quite strong swimmers, and they're really super duper cute, it's clearly not enough to outrun a shark. Number 7. Hedgehogs use their fur to protect themselves from the attack of leopards. Hedgehogs may seem like a perfect prey to many predators when they first lay eyes on them. They're slow, small moving, and seemingly delicious. But upon closer inspection, and when they do try to strike, the hedgehog is capable of curling into a ball, and once they're in that ball, the spikes on their backs act like a natural deterrent by pricking the predator. It acts like a spicy armor, we should say. In this instance, we actually get to see a hedgehog go on the offensive and actually begin to attack predatory leopards with its spikes. This makes it nearly impossible for the leopard to get close enough to land any really effective strikes, and it also allows the hedgehog to posture and show the leopard who's boss. When the hedgehogs lose any of their spikes in a situation like this, they're capable of actually regenerating them like Wolverine, though they don't naturally shed them as they're attached to their skin. The spikes actually have little barbs on the ends of them, which latch themselves into the skin of its attacker. So have no fear, hedgehogs. You seem to be doing just fine. Number 6. Scientists film hagfish anti-shark slime weapon. In the category of gross, this, all of this is just that. The hagfish is definitely one of nature's most grotesque and disgusting animals, physically speaking of course. Here though, we have an example of not only their outer nastiness, but the really, really gross things that they're capable of when it comes to protecting themselves. They can also launch a slime attack on their predators. Now you would think with all the length they have, they would choke the crap out of them or maybe just use their horrible ugliness to scare a predator away. But no, they have to spit slime as well. As we can see here, the slime is even capable of deterring the king of the ocean. Well, I guess that may be a pretty redeeming feature of this creepy noodle looking thing. But what does the slime do exactly, apart from just making the attacker disgusted? It seems that while there's not any poison or anything present in the slime, it just serves to begin choking the attacker. This is also to say that the hagfish is a predatory animal, capable of burrowing itself into the sand and then attacking when another fish may come close enough. Look at all those teeth! It's so gross, like a freaky version of a snail or something. Number 5. The Horned Lizard's Bloody Defense <laughs> Oh yeah, now we have some defensive lizards. This one in particular, the Horned Lizard, has a very strange mechanism of defending itself. They squirt their own blood onto their attacker. But where do they squirt the blood from, you may be asking? The mouth? No. Their nose? No. It comes out of their eyeballs. You would think that it would make the predator even more hungry, but no. As we see here, the coyote that has the little lizard cornered begins pawing at it. But once the lizard squirts some of the blood into the eye of the attacker, 
it then tries to get away, leaving the lizard to go about its business. Now, this blood squirting is hardly the only defensive mechanism that the horned lizard possesses. Their first line of defense is actually their excellently camouflaged skin. Coming in at only 5 inches long, there's not a whole lot more that they can really do to protect themselves. They look like little smogs or something, but they're still pretty cute if you ask me. Number 4. Bombardier Beetle's Bomb this little bug lives up to its name by having a pretty cool defensive technique hidden up its sleeve. It's able to fart out a toxin gas from its upper abdomen. It's really hot and lethal as well. I mean, maybe a weird defense technique, but being able to fart away your enemies? That's pretty awesome in my opinion, like a superpower. Scientists use synchrotron x-ray imaging to take a look at what exactly happens inside the bug that allows it to release such a lethal fart spray. Using two chambers that are located within its abdomen, one chamber actually lets out a drop of a chemical into the second chamber, which then combines with an unknown catalyst and, well, the gas is then sprayed. Only one spray is needed, but in the end, they're capable of reloading and giving another fart just for good measure. Some scientists who have made this research are actually working with the US military's scientists and are looking into how the bug's armor is made so that they can develop technology of their own based off of this biological feat. So biology is actually furthering technology. The bombardier beetle really lives up to its name in the end. Number three, Harbor Seal versus Giant Pacific Octopus. In our next matchup, we have the incomparable giant Pacific octopus versus a regular old harbor seal. It seems like a pretty unfair fight at first, but think again. This turns out to be a real nail biter right up until the finish. The harbor seal definitely knows how to put up a fight, as we've already seen on our list. And like we mentioned earlier, because of their slick body builds and very strong flippers, seals are capable of swimming quite fast through the water to get away from their predators. They also have a very sensitive ear to be able to hear from quite a good distance when there's a predator on its way. But let's see how it fares up in this match against the giant octopus. The struggle was a difficult one. After the octopus uses its tentacles and after getting the seal halfway into its mouth, the seal then proves powerful, maybe too powerful for the octopus. And it seems that the octopus bit off way more than it could chew. But in the end, the prey gets away and seals the deal on his life. Number two, Swallowed Newt Escapes Death. Now, I just like to go on record as saying that the newt is by far the cutest lizard in the world. I'm so sorry, horned lizard. As cute as this little guy may be though, it's very adept at defending itself from a multitude of predators. And as we can see from the video, it's even capable of defending itself, even though it's already been swallowed whole by a frog. The rough outer skin of the newt may seem pretty tame and sweet, but the underbelly of the cute little lizard is actually lined with tetrodotoxin. And as we can see in this case, it's a very effective and useful tool for when the newt has been caught and already swallowed. Once the toxin is ingested, it paralyzes its attacker and slowly stops its heart. This is why the newt was able to just slip out of the frog's mouth so chill like that. He knew what he had done. Newts are generally very great hunters, subsisting mostly off bugs, and they also help scientists to indicate the health of a water system. Where there are newts, there's a healthy system. They're such great and amazing little lizards, I wish I could just give one a hug. But very carefully though, of course. Number 1. Poisonous Pufferfish vs. Eel and for our final matchup on the list, we have two of our most lethal defenders in the animal kingdom, the eel versus the ultra poisonous pufferfish. Both are pretty heavy contenders, but only one can come out on top. So who gets who? I'm taking bets here, people. Let's look at what happens. The hungry eel is just lying in wait, and the pufferfish is just minding its own business. And as we know by now, the poison 
isn't the only defense that the puffer fish has, because it can, well, puff itself up by sucking in a bunch of water, making itself bigger, scarier, and then more difficult to eat. Once the eel comes out to attack, boom, the puffer fish puffs up and lets out the little spiny spikes that it has. So sorry Mr. Eel, it doesn't seem like this is going to be your meal today. The puffer fish comes out on top this time, even though it is a pretty terrible swimmer. All of those who bet on the puffer fish, you win. Nothing at all, except for my respect and admiration. And thank you for following us here at Fancy Banana. We've seen some pretty crazy matchups on our list, and I think we came away with a pretty good lesson. Don't judge a book by its cover. Just because an animal seems like it's an easy prey doesn't mean that it's going to be. Which animal matchup surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and also check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen. And I'll see you next time.